Good morning, Pop in the garden here. I want to give you an update on my big beef tomato. They are blooming, setting bloom. And I went ahead and I didn't know uh, prune them back a lot. I left a couple of well, I left two. On that one right there, I left one, two, three heads on or or stems sticking up. You know the what you what you prune. I always leave one. I mean, uh, two or three each and every time. I double stalk, double prune them, whatever. You know, leave them there anyway. That's what I'm trying to say this morning. Leave them. They won't make as quite a big tomato, but they will make more. Just like these, just like them prunes and uh, blooms right there. Them dudes are just multiplying. See, there's three sets on that one. But you keep enough fertilizer and water. I keep the water, I water about every two, maybe three days because I saturate them real good. Well, that's one right there from the old. That thing's been growing since last uh, October. So it's about a year old, a little old. So that's proof right there that they will just keep making if you get the right kind. But I'm just tying at this morning. I'm tying here. And I'm leaving it very loose. Because I'm expecting that tomato to get big, big. And I imagine it will go up to the top of them sticks more than likely. You see how, when I set it out, it was this side right here. And I don't know some, well, I got them later on. But they're coming on pretty good. And I, they probably about a month old in this greenhouse. As far as the pollination, you know, we don't have butterflies and all that in a green in a hot house, but I leave the door open occasionally and maybe something will fly in here. But when you're tying them up, when you're tying them tomatoes, or you just bumping up against them or whatever, the pollen is falling down to the next next one and they they are pollinating themselves is what I'm trying to say here this morning. That's a little uh cherry tomato that I planted that come up out there on their bed. There's some brandy wine and some Rutgers. And we'll set them out. But what I'm trying to say is them right there that right there it wasn't big as your thumb sticking up there. Lord have mercy look at my trailer and fell over here on my Yeah my squash plant. Them are straight neck squash. I got growing here in the greenhouse. And I'm really looking forward to them. They say you don't plant over two to a pot. Well, I got three in that, and I'm probably going to move one of them here pretty soon. But I got to get another pot out here. As you can see, this thing is pretty much loaded down. There's my stuff I got from all my little cells. Liquid seven, one thing or the other. Put it in here, keeps from freezing. That's about all I have this morning. That's a brandy wine right there that I planted from seed but I just pour the put the miracle grow and I got some triple 13 don't put too much of that triple 13 because this is for foliage that nitrogen in it is for foliage and it won't really bear that much fruit so just put a little I put probably about a in one of them pots, I put about a tablespoon, maybe a little more. Just a hand dropper, you know what I mean? Just drop it a little in there and cover it up. Be sure to cover it up because that water in that plant, that water splash upon that fertilizer. And, if, and when the water splashes on the fertilizer, it's going to more likely splash on your plant. And then it's going to kill some leaves. Because it likes it in the root, but it don't like it on the leaves. But anyway, that's popping the garden. I got the heater running in here and I'm about to sweat. So I'm going to 
get tatted up here and go on in the house and see what the wife got cooked for dinner. She cooked some chili yesterday. My Lord, it was good. Woo. That woman knows she can cook. But like my video, please, and, and uh, subscribe. Well, I really would like to have more. I'd really like for y'all to join in on popping the garden and let us congregate together and talk about stuff. Don't be bashful about asking me a question. And if I can answer it, I'll answer it. If I can't, if it's spiritual, I go to the Lord. If it's physical, I'll ask somebody. If it's mental, I'll probably go to the Internet. <laughs> because the Internet, you know... What I'm trying to say is, uh, there's no reason for anybody in this United States of America to be ignorant. I know that's a harsh word. I know that. But the Bible calls of it. Because, you know, don't let the ignorance of your mind take over. Now, anyway, uh, there's no reason for anybody to not know. Let me put it that way. Maybe that may make may I can make up with some people. Because everything we get on that internet is pretty much true. Unless we go to a far fetched, you know, website or whatever. But these old gardening boys and stuff like that, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna lie to you. They're gonna more likely each and every time tell you the truth. So if you have a question I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Cause I've been farming now for, oh, my Lord, probably over half my life. Uh, gardening, what I'm trying to say. Anyway, see them Formosa beans right there? You can shell them dudes out. And people are bound to plant in their yard in Formosa seeds inside them. I sell quite a few on eBay. But thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for coming out to the greenhouse with me. And I thank y'all. And y'all have a blessed day. Popping the garden, signing off. Oh.